They were the biggest anti-government protests in decades, and they sparked a crackdown from the Cuban authorities. More than a thousand people were detained in July after demonstrations took place in around 50 cities. Now, Cuba's opposition says it's going ahead with a planned November protest, despite being barred by the government. There are no legal ways for citizens to promote changes in a democratic way. There is no democracy in Cuba. The opposition originally requested permission to hold a march for civil liberties in Santa Clara on November the 20th. But after Cuban authorities declared that date would be National Defense Day, organizers decided to bring the protest forward. We wouldn't want confrontation between demonstrators and the army in the streets. We decided that the most sensible, the most correct, the most responsible, but also the most firm thing to do was to bring the protest day forward. The country's new constitution, which was introduced three years ago, had seemed to open a new space for protest. But permission for the demonstration has been denied, with the authorities claiming it's part of a plan backed by the United States designed to overthrow the regime.